hello guys a very warm welcome to hack Anons. and in this tutorial i will guide you how to screencast your android screen to pc so let's see how to do that so guys for screencasting your android screen to pc requires some steps so let so we in this tutorial we will work step by step so first come to step one so in step one you have to install a powersoft Android screen recorder in your PC so the link is in description you can copy paste the link from there let me show you how to download and install it so I have copied the link now I will open my Google Chrome and you must connect it to internet as it's understood now I will paste the link here and I will download so guys this is a shortened URL link you have to wait for two to three seconds and after that you can skip this ad and as you skip this ad then there is a Google Drive link which will come here and you have to download this software from here and guys please don't download the software from other sites because the higher version of the software does not support screencast so you have to download the software from here only so guys i have already downloaded this software it's just around 19 mb you can download it i will cancel the download and i will show you the folder from where i have downloaded it in which i downloaded it so this is the folder now i have installed this software and next and accept the agreement yes next yes install so guys it will take hardly maximum five minutes to install this software so guys as this software download you have to register the software for getting the full version otherwise there will be a trial version of two to three days after that you will not able to use this software so for that i also find it a solution so what you have to do is uh, you have to register this software let me open this software i think it will say that trial your trial version has been expired if you are an, if you install this software for first time it will not show this you will use this software for two to three days after that this will show so uh, what you have to do you have to click here on register and now you here it is asking for an email address and a license code so don't worry guys uh, step two is to register your software for getting the full license yeah so you have to copy this email and paste it here and you have to copy this code and paste it here guys there is one problem here as your trial will expire every time when you will open this software it will ask for this yeah you have to uh, all uh, all time you have to copy paste this but we will do it we will do some adjustment because otherwise we will have to pay around 39 dollars for buying this uh, software now click on register now my software has been successfully registered so now our screencast software has been ready now what you have to do you have to connect your android and pc on same network so for connecting your android and pc on same network there are two ways one way is connecting your android phone and pc on same wi-fi network means suppose there is a wi-fi let me show you i am connected with a wi-fi name muggers mention wi-fi so your pc and your phone both of them should be connected to same wi-fi or if you don't have a so this is done with the help of a router suppose this is a router Wi-Fi access point and all your PC and Android will connect it to the same router so if you don't have a, a router or, or a Wi-Fi access point then don't worry other way is create a Wi-Fi hotspot from your PC using Connectify or Command Prompt so you can use Command Prompt or either Connectify whichever you will prefer I will prefer Connectify because command using Command Prompt is little bit tricky and I think you all will be less interested in using Command Prompt because it's just a black screen and you have to type some command and Connectify is a great GUI so now what you have to do 
you have to open this software i have already opened it now you have to open your connectify so it's connectify i have opened it now you have to start the hotspot you have to download the connectify and install and install it then this skin will appear and you have to start it so now your connectify has been successfully uh, started now what you have to do you have to open your uh, uh, android phone and you have to connect your uh, you have to connect your device to this hotspot you can see uh, uh my pc has created a uh, created a hotspot name connectify me and the password is this so now see guys my device will get connected to this so guys now i have successfully connected my device uh, with uh, connectify with this wi-fi hotspot and my device is redmi 2 i am using a redmi 2 phone so now what you have to do if you are using a redmi user then i will uh, use if you are a mi user then it's a little bit tricky otherwise if you are a micro max or any other user that you are that are using a simple cyanogen mode and another mode then what you have to do you have to drop down uh, go to notification area and drop down it and select screencast or either cast screen or wireless display connect option so you can see suppose this is a uh, your screen notification drop down it and click on here cast and there is, it is showing a option and you have to click it here let me show you in my mobile in my mobile it's a mi phone so in mi phone you have to go to settings then you will find that option this option is only on the devices which are greater than Android 5.0 uh, means 5.0 or greater than 5.0 means lollipop or greater than lollipop. So in uh, my phone, so guys now see I will connect. So now see guys my phone has been successfully get connected to this A Power Soft. So in my phone you will where you will find that option I will show you. Go to more uh, fit. I will show you from there. So you have to click on settings and then more after that there is a wireless display here and this is a wireless display you have to click here wireless display and you have to uh, click here when you will uh, on this wireless display you will find this uh, a power soft coven any any other you have to click here and your screen will get a screen cashier. and if you are not a mi user then don't worry i will as i showed you you have to drop down your notifications and in notification you will get an option of casting uh, i think it's the last option mainly you will find this option if you are using a device i am again saying you are using a device greater than android 5.0 means greater than uh, greater than or uh, greater than or equal to 5.0 means lollipop i am using a lollipop device so it's working great so that's it guys now you have successfully screen casted your android screen to pc and the benefit of this is the main benefit of this is you can record your android screen because i don't think there is any software great software that can record your android screen uh, they are always a lag so now you can get you can record your screen or you can uh, see the video mobile videos in a greater screen and you can play games and you can also play music uh, your music uh, android music will get played in your laptop or you can connect buffers and many more things so that's it for this tutorial guys if you like my tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share so that's it have a nice day bye bye